Last week we went to the engineering field trip at the Homewood Science Center and the kids loved it. It is a 90 minute field trip for elementary students to gain skill, understanding, and self-efficacy in the engineering design process. We had shared with them that we were going on a roller coaster adventure and that they were going to be engineers from beginning to end. The Homewood Science Center really talked about the process. You know, being able to lay it out, being able to plan for it, to design, and then actually build. We have a lot of fun observing how roller coasters work by going through a 3D roller coaster ride. After that, we look at different pictures of roller coasters because we really want to get them to observe the shapes that roller coasters have and their supportive structures. Then they do a brainstorming activity, which varies from grade level, to get them thinking about what they need to understand before going on in the process. They draw out what they want their model roller coaster to look like. It's just an exercise to get them understanding that this is a step you have to take. You have to draw it out first, and then you can build. They collaborated and had a blueprint of what they were going to do. Then they actually started constructing. And they use tape and scissors, and they can do that for about 45 minutes. If they have questions, they can ask, but we want them to basically figure it out amongst themselves. And then we challenge them to modify that design, like critically look at it and think, is this really working as effectively as it should? They have to answer a few questions about what's going on. Is this working? Do we need to change anything? Do we have any failure points? That failure point is huge in this process. You absolutely want to make those failures in the prototype process because you don't want it to fail in the real world. Like, oh, we got to start taller, or it's falling off at this curve, and they'd start adapting things. And then after they're done building, we share. We designed the roller coaster field trip because we were looking at the next generation science standards, and we wanted to have a field trip that was aligned to those. We were excited because they clearly had done their research to hit all those standards. They want learning to be more student-led now. That's what we're trying to do, is get kids to be thinking for themselves and to be collaborating and to be asking questions. They're engaged from beginning to end. They're learning some pretty great skills, tools, standards. You're kind of hitting it all when you're there. I think being able to create something is one of the most visceral and important things that you can have as a human. And I think to kind of put a scientific method behind that, you're teaching them even more than just engineering. You're teaching them about life. I mean, it really is a microcosm for life, wouldn't you say? Yeah.